there is a picture, sort of artist's impression, before the space age of what Venus might be like on its surface, and so this was looking at the planet Venus, it was science fiction and science fact all the way up to 56 before the start of the space age, but it wasn't completely disproved. This idea of a really sort of lush environment on Venus until 1967, which is when the first measurements in detail were done at Venus. Okay. So this is the this is the big benefit of a universal philosophy. It says it applies to everybody. Well, looks that doesn't, you know, 205 or 206 countries in the world. And you've got something that applies to everybody. That's a bit strange, isn't it? No, says liberal theory. There are same value structures that apply to all of us. It's rare to find an adult who actively still wonders what their parents think. But that isn't to say that we aren't wondering about our value in more general terms. It's just that we may, without noticing, have taken the question somewhere else and very often, to particularly harsh modern figures of authority, media and social media. Over the past few months, the government has been pushing to remove all advertising outlets for the tobacco industry, and in particular pushing for plain packaging. The tobacco industry, however, is against this and they in particular argue that the cigarette box is not a form of advertising.
This phenomenon of conservation is explained by what we call the first law of thermodynamics, sometimes referred to as the law of energy conservation. The law states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. And so there's two things there. One is, smaller projects that have bigger impact and societal impact kind of get ignored. Also, niche technologies that we can build on for future things will not thrive, will go away. A lot of the things that we are reaping the benefit of today was because of the basic scientific research that we funded in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. A dimension of space is basically an independent direction in which in principle you could move, you could walk, so we talk about left and right, you can freely move left right, back forth, you can move. A person facing real dehydration won't be unsure if they need water. They'll do whatever they need to get it. It's one of our most basic instincts that's evolved over a very long time in environments where clean water was.
Even though our computers are now better than 15 years ago, they still malfunction between 11 and 20 percent of the time, a new study concludes. The researchers behind the study therefore find that there are major gains to be achieved for society by rethinking the systems and involving users more in their development. Using the Merunex instrument on the Gemini North Telescope, the team was able to identify and measure the abundance of 11 chemical elements in the atmosphere of the planet. Those include rock-forming elements whose abundances are not even known for giant planets in the solar system such as Jupiter or Saturn. A new form of random number generator for encryption, created at Linköping University in Sweden, has the potential to make digital information exchange safer, more cost-effective, and environmentally friendly. The researchers involved in the study believe that this innovative technology could open up possibilities for a novel form of quantum communication. A team of researchers has announced the creation of a novel composite material with the ability to alter its properties based on temperature changes, allowing it to execute specific tasks. These materials are expected to be incorporated into the next wave of self-governing robotics that can engage with the surrounding environment.
A new study has provided valuable insights into the Rusmalin's dwarf porcupine, a neotropical species that has been poorly understood until now. This research, conducted after 22 years of limited knowledge, reveals important information about its distribution, evolutionary relationships, and potential risks to its conservation. A groundbreaking study on recent evolutionary changes in natural populations has been conducted by a team of international researchers. The study utilized a vast genomic dataset, one of the largest ever assembled for animals in their natural habitat, which included almost 4,000 Darwin's finches. A recent study published in the Open Access journal PLOS One suggests that dog-assisted interventions can effectively reduce stress levels in children, regardless of whether they have special needs or not. The study, conducted by Kirsten Mains and colleagues from the University of Lincoln, UK, measured salivary cortisol levels to determine the impact of these interventions. Scientists have achieved the restoration of impaired brain function in mice models of stroke by utilizing small molecules, which may hold promise as a potential therapy for stroke recovery in the future. Tadus Wheelarch explains that the treatment has demonstrated the ability to partially restore communication between nerve cells in significant areas of the brain that are affected by stroke.
Scientists have achieved the restoration of impaired brain function in mice models of stroke by utilizing small molecules, which may hold promise as a potential therapy for stroke recovery in the future. Tadus Veloch explains that the treatment has demonstrated the ability to partially restore communication between nerve cells in significant areas of the brain that are affected by stroke. One of the complex agricultural problems is the issue of food waste. Food waste refers to the discarding of edible food at various stages of the food supply chain, from production to consumption. This not only represents a significant loss of resources, but also has environmental implications, such as greenhouse gas emissions from decomposing food waste in landfills. Urban forests play a crucial role in promoting urban sustainability and resilience. They contribute to climate change mitigation by sequestering carbon dioxide through photosynthesis. Urban forests also help manage stormwater runoff by absorbing and filtering rainwater, reducing the risk of flooding. Furthermore, these green spaces provide social and psychological benefits, such as stress reduction and improved mental well-being.